It has to do with phenomena that seem to come from another dimension. Telepathy, clairvoyance, the whole psi realm. Out-of-body experiences, near-death experiences, telekinesis. That is phenomena where they may manifest in the physical world, but they seem to originate in some other dimension. Something unseen. We have to recognize that consciousness, spirit, self, soul, all those realms have a life, have an existence separate from the physical body. A very small elite group decide what is the prevailing worldview, what is the nature of reality. Now, so the politics around determining the nature of reality is a, a particular politics that we haven't really thought about that much. We think about the politics of economics and of governance of, of communities, uh, of the social order, but not how we are governed around what we're supposed to think is real. With the mass media, with public education being as extensive as it is, everybody's getting kind of smart. Right? People know they, their experiences. They know they've had experiences that don't fit the, the prevailing mechanistic worldview. But they know their own experiences and they trust their experiences and they're not fooled by NBC or by uh, the New York Times or Time Magazine or those official arbiters of the truth and reality. So that we have this kind of samistat of reality going on here, this undercurrent of knowledge that the world, the universe, is not the universe we're being officially told it is. One or two percent elite that determines what we're supposed to think is real suddenly wakes up to the fact that, that it's not being bought. Thank you.